Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In the previous videos, we have seen a lot of transformations. So based on this, uh, let's see a simple scenario. Now how to pass set of records to multiple targets. The agenda of this video is that I will show you the demo. And before that, so what is the scenario? So we need to pass first three records to first target, next three records to second target, and next three records to third target from the source. And whatever the next three targets, again, it needs to go to the first target and next again, three records to second target and next three records to third target. So like this, we need to repeat the cycle. So for example, if you see, let's say we have records from one to hundred from the source. Now one to three, first three records should go to first target and four to six to second target, seven to nine, third target, and again, 10 to 12, first target, and again, 13 to 15, second target. So like this, we have to continue. Now let's start with a quick demo. Uh, before going to the mapping design, so this is my source. So this is my source and we can see uh, there are 13 records in my source and these 13 records. So based on the scenario, I need to pass to three different targets. So these are my targets. This is my first target and we can see there is an empty data and this is my second target and this is my third target. So based on the scenario, I need to pass to multiple targets. Let me go to the designer. Now, in order to implement this scenario, let's use whatever the transformation that we have learned. So as we know, so if you want to get a sequence, now we need to use a sequence generator transformation. So that's why I'm going to create a sequence generator transformation. So SCQ, you can give any name. Now, as we cannot pass any values to it, now this is double click. Now in the properties, now based on that, so current value, it will start from one. So the end value, I'm going to take it as nine. So because three different targets are there, first one is three, three, three. So that's why I'm taking as a nine and increment by is one and start value. So whenever the nine is reached and still if I have records, I need to repeat the cycle. So that's why cycle I will, I will check and start value I'm going to give as one. Okay, next again, whenever the cycle is reached, that means the next cycle, it will start from one and again, it will reach to nine. Now this is my ports, you can see this is the ports. Now, uh, this now we need to redirect to multiple targets. So in order to redirect, we need a rotor transformation. So that's why I'm taking a rotor transformation R3 and done. And from here, I'm going to pass to rotor and the next value I'm going to pass to rotor. Now you can see here. So in the rotor, we can see these are the four ports and groups. So now I'm going to make three groups okay so the first group so or else you can just if you want you can just take two groups now the first group it will be first target you can give any name and the condition cannot be number so it should not be a number okay so i'm going to make first target the condition that i'm going to make is so whatever the next value that is coming inside the rotor it should be less greater than or equal to one and it should be less than or equal to three so this is my condition that i am using so now you can validate this now expression passed successfully now in the same way so i am going to put second target so second target and here also same i am going to take next val here greater than or equal to four and next val is less than or equal to six it should be between this now whatever that uh, that comes that will go to the default group okay now apply okay so if you want you can take a third group but it is not in, uh, required in order to improve performance i'm not taking it now so you can see three groups will get will be getting created now the first one so whatever so from the first group we can pass to the first target and from the second group we can pass to the second target I don't need a sequence generator value, so that's why I'm not passing. And from the third group, third in the sense, the default group, I'm passing to the third target. Now let me save. We can see the mapping is valid. Let me create a session for this. Now I have run a session. Now we can see, so this is my source data. And now let me see the target data, first record. So first target, if we see one, two, three. So the three records from the top, so it went to the first target, okay? Next to second target, if you see eight five seven, so we can see the next is eight five seven. So this went to the second target. Now let me run the third target. Now we can see seven four ten. So the next sequence is 
seven four ten. Now again the next sequence is eleven seventeen hundred. That should go to the first target. So this is my first target, and we can see here eleven seventeen hundred. Next is one not eight is the remaining one that should go to second target. Now let me run the, see the second target, and we can see one not eight. So in this way we have implemented the scenario. So not only the three records, if we want to load ten records, then you need to run the cycle. Uh, you need to keep the end value till ten three three targets. So that's why thirty you need to keep. So in this way we need to implement how uh, run or loading the records to multiple targets based on a number. Now the scenario we have implemented. Now feedback. If you want to provide any feedback, you can give at support videos at informatica.com or Twitter channel. Thank you for watching this video.